A pleasant good evening to all of you, my dear friends and colleagues. It's a pleasure to be back. And the thought for today, I wanted to share a few ASCIIs that we have solved. And uh, I wanted to share uh, some content from the premium course, which would give you an insight on how to go about solving ASCIIs and how to prepare from recall ASCIIs. So let's go ahead. This session is for educational purpose only to familiarize candidates with the OSCE pattern and is not affiliated to NBE or NMC. The OSCE is discussed are not claimed to be from the real exam. Any similarity is purely coincidental. So, uh, th this we have followed the pattern. 23 stations are laid out here. Each station is allotted 5 minutes. A break of 5 minutes after 7 stations. And in the real exam, any disruption in connectivity will be resumed exactly from the same point. So, you don't have to worry about that. And the paper that is given to you, you have to write the answers in the front, uh, not in the back. And if the question asks you to give one point, if you write multiple points, that doesn't mean you're going to get more marks. So, it might even confuse the examiner. So, if they tell you list four points, write only four points. If they tell you list three points, write only three points. See, these are gem, some uh, general instructions you need to keep in mind. So, uh, please do that. So, this was the first OSCE station. What you can see over here? Can you uh, see anything over here? So, whenever you look at an X-ray, what you need to do? You have to see. If it is a joint, you look at the joint line and then you look at the articular surfaces, right? That's how you progress. So, this is the X-ray of a elbow joint and you can see it's a pediatric X-ray because you see the physis, right? So, what you see always start from your uh, lateral view. So, in the lateral view, you see there is something over here, right? There is something over here. It's not supposed to be there, right? There's nothing supposed to be there. It's almost in the, the joint. So now you go to the AP view, where you see there is something off. Something which is supposed to be in this place has drifted down. So what do you think it is? It is a piece of bone which is lying separate inside the joint, which is supposed to be somewhere else. This is a fracture, most likely a avulsion fracture of the medial epicondyle because of the medial side. And it's inside the joint. So, it's an incarcerated uh, bone fragment. Yes? So, I hope you understood that. So, this is how your thought process should start. Even before looking at the answers, please form an opinion. I'm telling you, form an opinion. But don't be dogmatic. Okay? Because there are many clues in the questions itself. So, form an opinion and then look into the question. And then don't just look at the first option. You go to all the questions. Because maybe the second question has the answer to the first question. Okay. So, this you have to keep in mind. So, now the question says, 10-year-old boy presents with a painful swollen elbow, fall on outstretched hand. The first question lists three abnormal findings in the x-ray. So, I told you that it's a medial epicondyle avulsion fracture. And there was the incarcerated fragment in the uh, joint, which I showed you. Yes. This is the incarcerated fragment in the joint, the medial epicondylar uh, avulsion fracture. And what else you see? You see the joint space is increased, right? So, these are the three findings. What important clinical assessment should be done in the hand? So, we have a fracture in the elbow. And it's on the medial side and they're asking you what do you want to do in the hand. Please pay attention. It is not the elbow. It is in the hand. So, you have to pay attention to each and every word. So, don't be in a hurry. So, the hand. So, you remember that this kind of fracture can cause a ulnar nerve injury. So, 
you have to look for ulnar claw hand okay you have to perform an examination of the ulnar nerve in the hand all right so that is the answer to that question how will you treat this case so this is a fracture so you need to do open reduction internal fixation with a k wire and a screw all right so that's it so this is what you have to do for this question and then uh, don't spend so much time uh, brooding if you don't know any answer please don't waste time go to the next question and then uh, you uh, find the answer which is more logical and then fill in the answers okay so th that was the first oski i hope you are getting the feel of it so this is how i do it i teach my students personally and uh, so so this is the second oski so what do you see over here you, you definitely there is a fracture line over here you can see that yes and this is the supracondylar region this is also a pediatric elbow because you have the physis right and you see there is a angulation above five so this is the course that i shared the content from so it is a practical exam package so it's not just one course as you can see this is a description so it has case presentation video classes it includes the oski course there are recall oskis case presentation video classes instrument implants x-ray tumor video sessions oski stations for practice real oskis recall oskis discussion videos and uh, plenty of other things you can go through so these are the individual courses within this package you can have a look you can click on this preview button and see what are all the contents inside you can see that the exam pattern is there and how the examiners mark the exam session with the marking sheet and there is a uh, demo of how to get the best out of the oski course so these are the oskis for practice where you can submit your assignment do it like the real exam so these are some of the other videos which are there and plenty more things so this and then we have the practical exam course so this is also included in this package so you can see the description there are plenty of things and these are all the excellent reviews that we have got from the candidates all these years and uh, these are all the video contents inside this course and you can preview them you can see hip core concepts ankle foot case presentation elbow how to square the pelvis instrument implants nerve presentation claw hand presentation tumor case presentation and spine shoulder test knee and plenty more so all the contents are listed besides this we have the oski recall course so this is the oski recall course where we have uh, uh, real oski solved and beyond that here's the updates course special sessions with the latest updates peripheral nerve injury cases radial nerve uh, median nerve ulna nerve brachial plexus uh, live sessions tumor uh, characterization slide specimens visual library and oski practice high yield oski and uh, other region wise oskis and there will be updates to this course as well so uh, there are plenty of content available besides this and i would implore you to stay on the path for progress keep practicing and you will definitely come out to be a success thank you dr leander